chant 3 om all together take your time take a deep breath in on your forehead join your both palm into heart center and inhale open your eyes namaste okay so we'll do some warm up first so what you have to do like interlace your fingers behind your back and try to roll your shoulders out up and down stretch your arm but make sure your neck should be neutral by bending your elbow place your wrist to the left side of the torso uh, like this and make sure uh, the shoulders not be lifted like this huh? otherwise you will not feel the stretch this should be down and now from here tilt your head over your left shoulder and hold here you can close your eyes for the deeper stretch Breathe in and breathe out. Keep your head tilted. Each more tilted. Now slowly move your head up and down only towards the left side in the tilted position. Try not to straight your head. Nice and easy. For five. Four. Three, two, and one. Breathe in back to the center and now slowly switch your side. Go for the opposite direction. And again, drop your head or tilt your head over your right shoulder. Make sure your left shoulder should be depressing down. And hold here. Breathe in and breathe out nice and easy. And now move your head up and down for five, four, three, two, and one. Slowly back to the center. Now what you have to do, place a hand by the side like this, touch your head and try to push your arm, huh? you have to push your arm back and at the same time you have to apply the opposite force, you have to push back your head. But make sure, try not to bend your neck, your neck should be straight, you have to look forward, chin should be lifted and just try to keep pushing your hand and try to keep pressing your head yeah, at the same time and hold here for five. Four, three, two, one. Now go for the opposite side. Do the same thing. Push your head and then push your hands back and hold here for five. Lift your chin up. Four, three, two, one release now we'll do the same thing on the front side so interlace your fingers place your palm here and now lift your chin should be lifted and now you have to push front and at the same time by using your hand you have to push back and hold here for five four three two one release interlace your hands behind your head 
Do the same thing, you have to push back, but by using your hands, you have to push to the center and hold here for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Now lift your hands over your head. Now try to lift your scapula up, elevate your scapula and exhale, drop down. We'll do five round here. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, down. Inhale, lift your shoulders up. Exhale, release down. Breathe in, lift up. And exhale, down. One more round. Inhale, lift your scalp up. And exhale, relax. Okay, one core exercise that you have to show me your head set, huh? So, uh, come up in plank pose. Plank. Falakasan. So we are going to hold here for uh, 10 seconds. So same thing. Squeeze your buttocks. Protect your scapula. Tuck your tailbone in. Ashiji plank. And hold here for 10, 9. Deepak, again you are doing wrong. Protect your scapula. 2. And 1. Relax. Okay, we call it Pinch Mayurasana. So first we learn headstand and from there we will see how to move. Pinch Mayurasana, yeah. From headstand to Pinch Mayurasana, okay? Head touch me, what is it? Now we will do it. Okay, so... Yeah, first we will talk about the base thing. Like the basic one. And also we will cover those people who are like... Those who feel... Those who have trust issues. Like... Yeah, or falling down or backward. Um, okay, let's cover up the first one, huh? Uh, building the trust. How to build your trust? There are three pillars. Huh? There are three pillars called up. Sorry? Backward. There are three pillars and then fall on it. No, no, no. Uh, we'll do some partner works. So that's how you can build your trust. Okay? Uh, so I want you to come on uh, two people here. So how to build the trust? Uh, Place your hand like this and close your eyes, okay? There are the by here. Just stand and stand like this, okay? Keep your eyes closed. So first, uh, at the same time, try to maintain your whole body straight, huh? Not like this, this, this. Keep everything engaged. And now, I will step my left leg back and Ashish right leg pitch le jalo Yeah, but yeah. Keep your eyes closed and think about, first you have to think about yourself, huh? Okay, I can fall backward. And at the same time, you have to trust on your partner also. Okay, my partner will protect me, okay? So that's how it works. So, no, 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 no. This will go with the beginner one, then we'll cover the intermediate one. So breathe, back, keep the back straight, nice. Keep your eyes closed. Go forward, Ashiji Pakro, just a minute. Yeah, nice. Put on each other, on each other, on each other. But yeah, walk his face on it. Relax, breathe. Don't open your eyes, huh? Keep thinking about the trust. Yeah, see, this is how the trust end up, huh? Okay. Now, what trust is again? Okay, so this one is the beginner one while you are supporting a partner and the intermediate one is uh, you have to fall backward, huh? I will support you from falling. Wait, 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 wait. On three, huh? Asiji pakar lena, huh? Pahle pichana, okay? First you have to fall back. Okay, one, two, three. Fall back. Go forward. Everybody, yeah, see, uh, don't move your leg. If you are moving your leg, <laughs> it means you are like you are um, broken, broken your trust. Again, we'll do four round here. <sighs> yeah, but yeah. 
Nice. Okay, yeah, see? Don't do this mistake, huh? Keep your hand at, like as it is. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, great job. Ashish, bye. Okay, as a dakkani then, don't push them slow. Okay, so make a pair of uh, three people. First, the supporting one, and then without support, okay? Without support? Without support, and this one. Marcus, come here. <clears throat> okay, so first let's talk about the base. So mostly what people do, they try to place their whole weight here. Huh? The half weight on the forehead and half weight here. So that's how, when you do this one, I'm placing my forehead and I'm going for headstand. Just relax, huh? Marcus, relax, relax. What I'm doing, I'm compressing my leg. That this happening right now. This way. So here you're compressing your neck bone. Okay. So where should be your weight? Your weight should be here on the crown of the head, huh? So find a center of gravity, center of your mass. So here. Align with your shoulder, your ear should be aligned with the shoulder and then this part. So here the most weight should be here and then you can divide your weight by the sides, okay? And when you go with the supported hand, so hand should be not like this one. It comes to the back side. Yeah. Hey, stop, stop, stop. Yeah. It won't happen now. Yeah, okay, see? It doesn't happen like this. And then you are just supporting your head, not like this or not like this, okay? Only your skull should be grounded and your hand is like blocking your head from falling backward. And the, so this is the first concept you have to apply. Interlace your fingers and your hand should be backward and your whole weight should be here on the skull. Second thing, uh, from this position, you see like when with their elbows are flaring more outward. So this one is the wrong one, huh? It makes you disbalance. So same thing, you have to work on the, what is this? External rotation of the shoulder, okay? So from this position, as you're rotating your shoulders out, so the elbow position should be like this. So right now my elbow are aligned with my shoulders, are they? Yeah. As I'm doing the internal rotation, they are flaring outside. So here, there is more disbalancing. So as you do this one, it's like more balancing here. Okay, so first, external rotation of the shoulder and the weight should be divided equally on the skull. This is the second point. And third, so uh, you have to work on depressing your shoulders, huh? So this is elevation and this is depression. So uh, in the beginning, uh, it's kind of hard when your body is upside down and you have to work on the scapula. But try to focus on that thing also. Uh, do work on depression of your scapula. Huh? So from this position, if your shoulders are like this, it's more like you're compressing your neck, okay? So what you focus on, you have to depress your shoulders down and rotate your shoulders out. So this is the third key. Depress your scapula down. Rotate your shoulders out and divide your weight equally. <sighs> and then you have to maintain your hip aligned with your, what do you call it? Head. Yeah, go for it. Interlace your fingers, nice. 
first check your weight huh? see still you are placing your weight on the head this should be here on the crown of the head yeah, stay there huh? oh. <laughs> I can go with this one like this Marcus like this yeah. so f no 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 this one Marcus Mark one this one like uh, close your fist yeah. keep closing your palm like this. Uh, yeah. nice okay why it activate your forearms huh when you are like this it's doing nothing so you have to activate your forearms by doing this one so from here in case the elbows are flaring outside it's because of the internal rotation the second key is rotate the shoulders out as you rotate the shoulders out, the elbows are going inward. So it more likely a triangle. Okay, so second key is the external rotation of the shoulder and at the same time shoulder should be aligned with the elbow. Now third key is you have to work on depressing your shoulders down, you are relaxed. Now lift your one leg up. Okay, you can do head side. Yeah, go for it. More, more. More, more. Go up. I can find a head stand. So see right now the hips are not aligned with the shoulder and at the same time you can see the elbows are moving outside. So first focus on the line, huh? you have to feel your body by yourself, feel where your hips are going. Yeah nice, now you can see the hips are aligned. So you have to do it by yourself, feel your hip over your head and then from there rotate your shoulders out, turn your elbow in or inward, in, 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 uh -huh. relax. Yeah, nice, this one. Don't lose, move your head back. <coughs> squeeze your buttocks. So he's not squeezing your, uh, squeeze your buttocks more. See, he's falling backward, but he has like more strength, so that's how he can easily maintain his balance. But if you can maintain your hip aligned with your shoulders, then go for it, okay? Otherwise, you will fall backward or fall forward. And now from here, you have to use the forearms. Keep pushing the ground as hard as you can. At the same time, it will help you to dip, keep depressing your scapula, okay? And relax. And after every head stand, relax in child pose, huh? Okay. Oh, I'll Nice. <laughs> okay. Let's And what not to do? Uh, you see, when people try to lift the hips up, lift the knees up, or straight karo, they try to walk forward and more, 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 and they put too much like their hips are coming too much forward. At the same time, what happened? You are like compressing your neck. So that's how it goes for neck pain and neck injuries. Okay, so if you are looking for a proper alignment, so try not to move your hip much forward. Huh? Do it. Aja. Aja, upar aja. Uh, I go for headstand, nice, 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 straight to legs. So see, he's falling too much forward. So if I will remove my hand, he will fall. <laughs> so what you have to do, feel your hips and by yourself maintain your hip aligned with your head and nice. Move backward, more, more. Squeeze your abdomen, squeeze your vertex, nice. See, uh, yeah, keep maintaining your hip aligned. <laughs> That's on each other. Relax, relax. <laughs> okay, so the main purpose is uh, whenever you feel like you are falling too much forward, so what you have to focus on, you have to bring your hip back to the center. Okay, no one will do this work for you. You have to feel your body by yourself. So feel if your hips are going too much forward, press your palm, rotate your shoulders out, and bring them back. And that's it. Okay, relax, you can go. Uh, is there anyone who can't, uh, yeah. 
And one block also, huh? We need a block. So this is for those people who are not able to lift their hips up, huh? So sometimes your base is strong, but you are not able to jump up, or you are not able to press up, because the main purpose is you have to go up first. Other <coughs> position, no? Yeah, I do. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. And now place of both toes here. Hmm. Nice. Beach me rakhlo pura. Pura sa piche kar. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Now lift your hips up. Huh? Straight your knee. Nice. And now keep pushing your elbow. Rotate your shoulders out. Nice. Where is your weight right now? On my forehead. Scalp me now, sir. Yeah, nice. Scalp me. See, her elbows are flaring outside. Turn her like here. Okay, nice. And now, uh, see, there is less hip motion because her hips are too backward right now. So what you have to focus on for those people who are not able to maintain the hip align, uh, bend your one leg, put other leg, and try to straight your leg. Nice. And then just uh, keep doing that thing. Lift your one leg also. Nice, nice. Squeeze your buttocks. Feel your hip. Come on. <laughs> Feel your hip. Uh, align your legs. Squeeze your buttocks. Breathe. Keep pressing your forearms. Huh? Squeeze your buttocks. Yeah. And then slowly drop down. Relax. Okay, so by using the blocks, you can easily give yourself a height. So you don't need to use your core, you don't need to lean too much forward. So by using the block, you can give yourself a good height and then one by one, huh? fold your one leg, lift up and then lift your other legs. So this is for beginner people. huh? So there come, and then come, then there are some people, those who are not able to jump up even if they are using the height but their the hip motion is not good it because of uh, they don't know how to kick up and also because of the weak core huh? trust yeah the trust is the first thing yeah. <laughs> and also because of they don't have a good range of motion from the hip so what you have to do to gain that strength it also helps you to impress head stand or press hand stand. So look here, Ish. Either of you. what you like. Go for plank. No, no. Plank. Plank. Toes are the blanket. Okay? So this exercise to build a good range of motion and at the same time, you can work on the core and at the same time you can work on the pushing power. So what you have to do, you have to slide the blanket forward by using your hip. Huh? So there are two things. You come up nice. And again, slide backward. Nice, 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 nice. And again by using your hip, lift up, slide forward. Yeah, nice. Use it, use it, use it. And again, slide back. Again, slide up. And slide back. So see, only this part is moving. He's only working on this part. So it helps you for those people who don't know how to move their hip up. So you can use this thing. And again, move back. And relax. Okay, so there is one thing you have to avoid, one mistake. Our main purpose is we have to work on the hip motion, not on the shoulder. So avoid this one, huh? <coughs> and it also helps you in your jump through and jump back. Try not to do this one, huh? Here I am using my shoulder. You can see how far I am leaning. It's because of I am using the shoulders. 
you have to focus on this part. <coughs> so avoid this one. Try to maintain your shoulder line with your wrist and lift up. Hip up. Okay, use your hip as much as you can.